Hi guys, Exeter Rider, thanks for joining me once again. Now this week is a review, which I haven't done a review for three or four months now. So it's gonna be really good to get back on a bike and it's the BMW F900XR. Oh, now look at this folks, got an old fashioned key. Much prefer that, thank you. All right, see what she's like. It's very light on its feet, eager to go. Whoa, this is a bit more beefy. <laughs> God, it's quite ferocious actually. Now this has the same engine as the GS850 that I tried last year. And uh, obviously it's a bit more of a bigger bore now to a 900cc spec. My first impression is uh, how much more fiery it, that it is. It just feels a bit more ready to go. The peg position is quite high up actually. I've got a, quite a tight angle on my legs there, which to be honest I don't really mind that. That's uh, it's quite a sporty height to have the pegs. Clutch is nice and light and uh, gives you lots of feedback. Let's see if I can find neutral. Uh, come on, nearly. No. Boom, there you go. That didn't take long, did it? Um, oh, by the time I get there, I've got to go again. Come on, I'm going to open it up here. Out of the way. Here we go. Yeah, so it certainly goes fast enough. So we're doing this 70 now, and it, honestly, it doesn't feel like that at all. It feels like about 50. Weather protection wise, we've got this big, these big body panels here, which are quite good. So in the rain, you're not gonna uh, get hit too much with that. Mirrors are pretty good. I have got a very good view there, so. Uh, they're quite small, but they, they're at just the right height. Gearbox is ever so slick. I had a few issues getting into neutral back there, but uh, once you're rolling, going up and down the box, the throws are very, very short. Gets a little bit lumpy, you have to work your gearbox a bit on these. It likes to be in the higher rev range, I find. And we've got one of those lovely screens as well. Got to be said that BMW have got the best screens. I think I, I don't think you can argue that. I'm in the wrong lane because I'm from Exeter. Um, yeah, lovely screens. I mean, you can't beat it, can you? Those screens, They're the best on the market, guaranteed. Got all the different modes as well. A nice gear indicator that's very prominent. Oh, it certainly goes. Yeah, it goes very well. And at 70 miles an hour, I'm at 4,200 revs. So that's that's quite nice in, in the middle of the road there. So I guess one of your questions might be, is it a good first big bike? And uh, yeah, it definitely is, uh, for a number of reasons really. First of all, it's still quite basic. Um, there's not too many sort of modes on it and things like that to distract you. It's at a good price. These coming at around 10k, so it's uh, not a bad price for a BMW. It's very nimble, very light, so you're not going to get intimidated by it. And uh, it's easy to ride. I would put this particular bike with its spec in the commuter category, really. I think it'd be good as a blaster as well. And the switch gear is just the, the typical BMW. It's all very tight, very nice. I'm just showing you this part, what it's like in towns and higher speeds. But what I will do is uh, I'll put all the spec up at the end 
of all the figures okay that's the way I normally do things and uh, do some close-up shots of the bike get you some nice sexy pictures to look at on the note of seat comfort it's okay the seat is quite thin it's uh, got a lot of padding though a little bit like the um, BMW 310 series actually it, kind of, it reminds me of that seat and in fact before I even come out on it I, I was thinking it looks a bit like that seat and it, it feels like it as well much as much the same it's a great way to get into the BMW club having a bike like this you can see they've got a bike for everything now as you start out on the 310 move up to this one and then go on to the litre bikes if you if you so wanted to do so it's very much a bike you sit on top of as well I sort of uh, you feel like you sat on top of it and the bike is down below you a bit as opposed to sitting in the bike suspension wise is set up quite tight on the back and a bit softer on the front brakes are good got twin discs on the front so uh, plenty of biting power but it's not too aggressive at the same time I think they've got the, the front brakes just right on this one and the rear brake takes a bit of reaching down to get to it I'm finding but uh, probably because of the seating position with the peg height quite high up but um, again it's not bad okay let's see what we got on the bike then so we've got a, a nice looking exhaust nice bit of styling there BMW uh, massive great chunky spring actually in here which is uh, very good the suspension is quite tight and nice I quite, quite like it okay so specs wise I'm going to put all of that up at the end I just want to show you what the bike looks like on this part so yeah we've got a nice body panels here and a nice BMW badge that's always a nice thing to own isn't it a BMW badge uh, the switch gear is great it's all in the right place there's no quick shifter on this particular model uh, but you can get them and to be honest the, the the gearbox is so slick it's it's really quite impressive actually we've got a, a decent gear indicator as well which helps uh, so you know where you are um, for this to have the same engine as the GS that I rode obviously a bit more power um, it, it, it's night and day um, the the GS felt quite flat whereas this does tend to come alive and it seems quite a linear uh, torque curve on it so when you want the power it does tend to just go for it we've got adjustable levers and also the screen is adjustable as well like so up and down so if you're looking at this bike you're probably also looking at the MT-09 um, that's its closest competitor off the top of my head um, which you know they're, they're both good bikes there's no um i prefer different things on each bike you know so uh, i can't i can't draw the line for you on that one but um overall this one's got the led lighting it's got a, a fantastic screen um which makes a huge difference psychologically just to every everyday riding you know just to look at that is is just really nice so i think this is a good bike for for all riders uh whether you've just beginning in motorcycling or you've had a bike for years and you just fancy something light and easy to live with um, this bike certainly fits that category uh, it's a good little workhorse is the way I'd describe it okay so I'll leave all the spec up at the end I just wanted to quickly show you what it actually looks like so let's get back on the bike and have another ride so switch gear on the right hand side I've got heated grips which is a optional extra I've got the modes which takes me from road to rain then on the left side we got the menu buttons and the uh, tiny wheel thing to, to take you through all the menu spinner whatever you want to call it with wheel there you go <laughs> um, yeah menu then we got indicators which are uh, nice and easy to use um, it's in just the right position as well right where you want it and uh, yeah and just basically all the menu buttons on the left hand side hazards and one of them horn it's a typical twin in the sense that you have to work the gearbox a little bit um, it does get a bit lumpy and it does let you know if, if it needs to change down a gear now uh, 
you might be thinking, well, what's it going to be like touring uh, and with a passenger? And as you can tell, it's certainly got enough power for a passenger. And uh, luggage capability is also something it's, uh, it's very good at. Got the pannier area on the back, which you can spec up with the uh, boxes whatever else you want, top boxes, tank bags. So yes, it can be done, and this machine would handle it. Of course, you'd probably want the higher screen. I'm sure that goes without saying. And a few other options, but um, essentially the, the bike will handle it. Fine, no problem. Pillion Comfort, it's got a, a relatively nice size seat, and again, it's quite thick as well thick layer of foam uh, so you should be okay I'm not saying it's the best um, but it'll be fine for the odd tour here and there but, uh, it's just about under 10k you can get one of these for so that's quite a good price and quite good it's within where it should be price rise for this market but all that's left to be said is to thank you to Ocean BMW very much for lending me the bike for this test I can't do it without them. Uh, if you haven't been there, get yourself down there because there is a brilliant shop down there. You can kill an hour in there easy. Evolution there, Good, nice bike. And uh, yeah, get yourself down there, have a look. They've got all the bikes there, a great uh, demonstrator fleet. And uh, a great second uh, use section as well. So uh, go and have a look. And uh, if you would be so kind, to subscribe if you if you haven't done already i've got lots of stuff coming up this year now we've uh, sort of getting back to normal uh, but give it a good big like and uh, i will leave you with the spec and the pictures thanks for watching guys and i'll see you next week